Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel here, coming at you with another video. And since it's Thursday, we know that is Earth Day, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So we're going to jump straight into your reading. Um, make sure you check the description box down below for all my information, all right? All right. Okay, we received the Thief card, mm. um, main male, main female, okay, so we got a couple here, so this is about a relationship, um, and then we received great fortune, false person, and thoughts all right so i'm not sure but i feel like uh maybe uh this main female here uh energy uh divine feminine or feminine energy over here um is thinking about this looks like the main male over here in thoughts so first of all the main male looks at her as she is a work of art as if she is beautiful he is in love with her okay um and but there may be someone in his midst who is a false person because they um, they either know or don't know that this false person is planning to thieve from some great fortune that the main male and the main female have. Um, the main female has an inkling. She's having thoughts about this person that the main male is connected to, but the main male doesn't see that this person um, does not have the correct intentions I'm seeing here. Um, change, I'm seeing here someone wants to just go ahead and um, change their scenery, change where they're at, move, go somewhere. You see the bags are being packed in the back of the cart and the wagon. So they wanna change their location, whether that be to move um, or whatever, but all right, let's move these up out the way a little bit and we're gonna get some terror out here and see what's really going on all right i'm hearing jealousy um so this false person could be maybe jealous See, the main male is focused on the main female and not focused on this false person so they don't know that this false person um, could be wanting to thieve them now y'all fit the situation as you will um, if this resonates with you I'm seeing you guys um, thinking about making a decision of whether or not you want to uh, talk to this person about it. Like I said, thoughts over here. You could be thinking about, um, you know, this false person or telling this main male about this false person. OK, you know that this uh, painful cycle or whatever it is with this person has to end. Um, this great fortune could even be just divine energy and the thievery could be, you know, just energy vampirism, you know. Like I said, fit it in the story how you will, okay? You guys have to, you know, have problem-solving skills, thinking skills when it comes to this, if it resonates. But um, you just want to end this uh, painful cycle with this person. You no longer want to go down that road with them anymore. Um, you're, you're, you're wanting this, your person to see this in this person you're wanting this person to make sound decisions and judgments when it comes to this uh false person here with the judgment card um but it's going to take a level of going within they're going to end up having to have some sort of um aha epiphany moment it's almost like it's some sort of lesson that this person is learning um, when it comes to this person this false person but whatever it is with you, uh, with the main female in this uh, situation, <clears throat> earth signs, um, they know what's going on. And they know that um, this may be a lesson that this uh, main male needs to learn about this false person. This false person could be a family member, a close friend, you know. All right. Oh, that's too many. 
So what do we have out here already? We have Capricorn, we have Gemini, we have Libra, we have Taurus, we have uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we have Leo, Virgo, we have Leo, and we have Capricorn out here, all right? So in the recent past, maybe um, you came into some sort of great fortune or you started to come into some sort of great fortune. Your money situation started to change here with the Ace of Pentacles in the recent past. And now here comes this false person wanting to creep themselves right on in there. Okay. And um, insert themselves where they kind of really don't fucking belong. But um, I'm seeing here this all is going to work out for the better. And I feel like that is the reason why the main female really isn't saying anything because they know that the main male has been thinking this about um, this false person for a while. OK, that, yeah, maybe I do need to change my location, change my number, uh, you know, change how I move, that type of deal. But like I said, you guys are protected and you know you're protected. You're actively protecting yourself here. What I see with the seven of wands. OK, um, you've assessed the situation um, and you've reflected enough to where you you're like, OK, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take control and I'm going to uh, protect myself. All right. Um, she's in heaven in her own little bubble. All right. Anything that's going on outside of that bubble, she really doesn't care, even though it's still in the same room, in the same area. See how she's protected. So her aura, she's protected, okay? <clears throat> but like I said, others really just want to insert themselves. They want to have a part in your um, coming up story, if you will. Um, if you started from the bottom, say you started a company or you started... Um, <clears throat> Uh, a new job or you know you you started <coughs> excuse me this could be anything this person wants parts they want to be a part of that group and they were like no no no, no. let me come in let me y'all better watch yourselves with this person 717 was on the timer when I said that somebody's gonna want to come in they're gonna offer um, to either help you out or help you build or help you grow or help you expand there's going to be something that this person tries to offer you but i'm seeing here the outcome that this person um only offers you this it, it's not genuine i should put it like that the page of uh cups in this situation brings a message you know with you know with feeling but it's more or less like this person doesn't have the right things to say okay this person doesn't apologize for what it is that they do it's more or less like they gloss over the fact that anything even happened and they're just like hey so you want to no I don't <laughs> uh, you're not going to get an answer out of me pages are messengers so be on the lookout for some sort of message uh, from someone that you may have walked away from from some way that someone that you may have cut out of your life recently I feel like this could be a test that you guys have coming in to make sure that um, this Ace of Pentacles, this great fortune that you have coming in, that you are ready to um, actually have it. OK, because this could be a really great fortune that you have coming in that you don't know or that you may know about it. You know, um, you may have been doing your manifestation work and things like that because the Ace of Pentacles is like that giant pinnacle from from above. All right. This is a gift. So and this is the materialization of uh, what the magician is creating. OK, this is a creation. This is a material creation on the 3D realm. So I feel like whatever this gift is from the divine, the divine just wants to make sure that, you know, that you've learned your uh, lessons here with the Hierophant, all right? That you're not going to uh, fall back into the same patterns that you once did before where, you know, you had false people around who were able to get close to you because maybe you were too nice or maybe you didn't listen to those little feelings that were coming in, that little intuition that was trying to peek through. But like I said, I'm seeing here that um, this time you guys are like, nah, mm mm, -mm. No, this is Libra energy, justice, balance. Um, justice has been served in this situation, okay? We have judgment and justice out here. So this could be karmic justice on your part and this person's part, okay? This person is part of your karmic story. But whatever this great fortune is, it's going to be enough great fortune for you to change your life, all right? With the, uh, ooh, what did I say? 
the wheel car. It's going to be enough great fortune for you to change your life. All right. The end of a cycle is coming. And that is how you're feeling here with the two of pentacles being clarified by the, the wheel. It's like it's a no brainer. You don't have to choose between, you know, what am I going to do? Am I going to um, let this first false person into my life? Because this main female, if you are the main male in this situation, this main female tried to warn you about this false person, tried to give you little hints and clues and got you thinking a little bit. All right. Up in your head. When this when this false person speaks or does something or offers something or says something, you think about this person right here, because this person right here is the one that has your heart truly. And the one that you're like, you know what? main female main male that could be a couple marriage because we have the hierophant out here so you're like you know i'm gonna listen to my wife about this person um maybe this person doesn't have um, my best interest at heart and i'm gonna you know just move on from it all right so you guys are deciding to end that cycle here with the two of pentacles being clarified by the wheel okay ending this karmic cycle i feel like your karmic lesson has been learned with the karmic wheel out here in the hierophant it's almost like i low-key knew the karmic wheel was going to come out <laughs> Eleven twenty-two on a timer all right ten of swords clarified by the queen of wands all right so Ten of Swords is the end of a cycle. Again, like I said, we have two tens out here. So bringing your life into balance, ending cycles, um, <clears throat> not going for the bullshit, you know, not being beat for the bullshit, seeing this fake person for who they are, um, not letting anybody come in and um, mess up all the hard work that you've done. All right. All the karmic lessons that you've learned. You know, all the manifestations that you have done, all this energy that you have put into it here with this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is Aries energy. You or your person could have that in your chart, but Queen of Wands here, you manifested this. We know the Queen of Wands is AKA the fiery passion creating and creative <laughs> witch, okay? She's creative. She creates from thin air using her passion, all right? As above, so below. See how she's got her wand in the air and then something is being created right there in her hand. She's got the candle magic all around her using that energy. She's very creative. So she manifested this ending. OK, you manifested this ending. You knew that there was some shadow work that was going to be needed to be done. And you were just going to have to go ahead and do it. There was something that was unstable still about this life that you had to change. All right. That needed to change. We have the change card here, like I said, at the bottom of this Oracle deck. All right. Five of cups here. Five's internal numerology are about change, instability. All right. Conflict. So judgment here, making the sound decision having an awakening and realizing I can change this situation. I don't have to sit here and sulk over things that happened before. Okay. I don't have to sit here and take what this person is saying. I don't have to feel bad. I mean, this person is not going to gaslight me. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to follow spirit and I'm going to change. I'm going to make a change when it comes to this instability because you know, you're not going to let this false person come in and, and mess with your family, your life, your husband at all anymore. This person may want to come under the guise of, I want to help you. Um, but really energy vampire thief, you know, could only want to be associated with your abundance. Okay. They know you are abundant and um, stand to obtain more abundance. They can see your light. All right. Your light shines bright. Oh, what I said. Your light shines bright. They can see your light. All right. The Hierophant. Look at his light shining bright right above him with the lotus right there. Okay. Higher levels of spirituality here with him being clarified by the seven of swords this person is spying on you look at the light shining all right they can see your light shining too your light is a beacon you're probably a very bubbly person uh, a laugh a lot you know beautiful person very grounded this person sees you as but they're watching they're waiting they could even be getting reporting back to others here with the bird all up in the face just talking messaging okay 
what she got going on yo she got this 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 and that this person could be watching you under false accounts online okay this false person all right this fake person and, and they're not doing nothing but sitting back and watching you just a sneaky person watch this person watch this person okay but you guys already know that it, it, you and you already planted the seed or the seed has already been planted in your head by your counterpart husband wife if you're not married boyfriend girlfriend somebody done already said something about this person to you okay either that or you done already said something to your counterpart about this person like yeah i think it's funny how someone someone so want to come back or want to talk to me and blah, blah 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 and your counterpart is thinking about it like well damn i ain't see it like that before but yeah and baby i'm on your side you know that type of deal <laughs> okay <clears throat> Yeah, y'all don't know this person is like very um, sneaky when it comes to the energy. They come at you like they have a lot of love and like they want to help and, and do things with you and for you and things like that. But it's all for an ulterior motive here, okay? We have um, uh, Ace of Pentacles being clarified by Ace of Cups. All right. So you have a lot of new opportunities coming. You have a lot of new potential. You're having new beginnings. You're being, a, you're, you know, having new abundance when, when it comes to money, love, career, all of that. You know, intuition. You know, they may be jealous of your intuition, that type of deal. But um, because the uh, Ace of Pentacles is being clarified by the Ace of Cups, you know, they could be Seven of Swords reporting back to someone who is jealous of what you have going on or they you know because the uh, ace of cups is cancer scorpio pisces energy you know this person could be cancer scorpio pisces reporting back what you have going on um oh let me grab that all right we got cards flying cards flying oh and i see why all right so let me put this right here while i clarify this one Yeah, so like I said, in the recent past, you guys have manifested abundance. You've manifested new opportunities, new potential and all that. And you're stepping straight into that. And um, people see that, okay? That is like a beacon of light. You are like a beacon of light. Your beauty, your love. I'm not saying tone it down, but, you know, just like we attract other light workers, we also attract um, things that are in the dark as well. We also illuminate uh, things that are in the dark as well. We illuminate with our light the thing that's standing over there in the corner. You know what I mean? Like like that type of deal. All right. So these people are coming to you like a beacon of light. And um, but you're able to weed it out. OK, but I feel like it's more or less like that one last test from the divine before they go ahead and drop this big old pinnacle on you and this big old cup of love on you like here you go this is a gift straight from us because you passed the test with flying colors you use that vibration of love to its fullest potential okay okay what do we have here Okay, so like I said, I see you guys going towards your happiness, all right? So you know what to do. You're going to pass this test with flying colors here. We have the Knight of Swords, which is Gemini energy, all right? I'm feeling like maybe this person tried to come back during Gemini retrograde um, with some sort of, hey, I want to help you, you know, trying to be happy. That type of deal is fake happy. But you stepped into your real happiness, so you know what real happiness is. You know what real happiness look like, okay? Um, the Knight of Swords... Uh, fast progress, you know, of ideas, communication, that type of deal. So this person may have uh, a lot of communication towards you or back to back communication with you. And I see here that um, you guys have your back to this person, whoever it is that's trying to come towards you. They're trying to find out some things. They're trying to find out some truths on some things, um, maybe try to calculate certain things. Maybe they feel like you're going to move or change or change your location or change something about you. Or maybe you changed your number and, you know, you changed you don't want to talk to them anymore you don't want to deal with them anymore this um change card has a nine on top of it which is almost 10 and we know tens are the end of a cycle so it's like yeah i'm packing up i'm getting ready to move as soon as that car moves as soon as that car is gone it's done that's 10 right there it's complete it's over with as soon as the car is done the car is getting packed right now but as soon as it's done <laughs> soon as it's done okay so we have seven of wands here like i said you guys um assess the situation and you were able to gain control over it by protecting yourself against this person doing what it is that you had to do here 
because you have healed from whatever heartbreak that this person has done to you, okay? We know fours in tarot numerology are about manifestation, foundations, and stability, all right? So you have a 2002 on the timer, as I said that, all right? You guys have manifested a level of stability. You have manifested your healing. You have worked on it, okay? You've protected yourself so you can work on your healing. See, she's got the swords in there you know, sewn up the heart and things like that. So healing after heartbreak, she's got flowers on her um, um, clothes and she's just nestled, nestled in and stable now, all right, away from this person. So others, are, like I said, others are seeing you as healed, healing from heartbreak, healing after heartbreak. Um, Okay. <clears throat> oh, well, rather you see yourself as that, okay? Healing after a heartbreak. That's the energy that you put yourself in here with this Queen of Wands. You manifested this, like I said. You manifested this ending. You knew it was going to hurt. You knew you might have to do, hurt somebody's feelings or, you know, make somebody feel a little salty here with the Judgment card and the Five of Cups clarifying the Judgment card. But you knew how sneaky this person was and you knew that they had um, ill intentions when it came to you. All right. Um, I'm seeing here three of pentacles um, in the outside energy, how others see you. Like I said, uh, others wanted to work with you. They wanted to be a part of your started from the bottom. Now I'm here story and it's not going to happen. They want to have abundance by association when it comes to you. They want to be near you when you receive this pentacles. They see you already starting to receive your abundance, your pentacles, because the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups is right here in your recent past. This could have been Gemini season I'm seeing, but they see um, that they started to contact you back during this mercury retrograde maybe within the last few weeks but um they're seeing that you're starting to get to your fruition that things are looking up for you that things are looking good for you and things like that now they want to come to you here with the chariot i told you they want to have abundance by association now they want to come towards you because they see you as a victory all right this right here is chariot cancer all right. Maybe um, cancer wants to come towards you or someone wants to come towards you during cancer season. We do have Fourth of July coming up. So maybe someone wants to come and visit you or wants you to come and see them. Chariot is a car type of deal. So maybe someone from out of town, um, but they want to be involved. They want to come let together with you. They want to collaborate with you. And if not this, if this is not you that they want to come together with, it's with the person that they were in, had you in the three party with. All right. But like I said, karmic justice has been served on this person. You are getting your due karm karmic justice here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups over here. Justice card clarified by the Two of Cups. So you and your partner, you're going to have balance. You're going to, um, you know, be able to move on. Um, <clears throat> You're going to um, collaborate, come together. Two minds are better than one type of deal. You guys both have intuition here with these cups right here and you use it together. Maybe you guys do, you know, you know, talk about this together, you know. Like I said, words are spells. So maybe you guys came up with a plan and you're executing that plan. And you three, two, three, three, two on the timer, as I said that, maybe, you, you know, coming up with a plan, speaking a plan out loud and into the air is putting that vibration out, is putting that into the air. You've created that vibration and that plan. So you two decided, no, we're gonna come together and we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do this. We're not doing this with this person. Um, this person knows that this, your your person knows that this uh, false person kind of only comes to, to rock your world, so to speak what I say three-party situation we got three of cups here death and rebirth that's Scorpio energy and that's cancer energy all right so this person um, this false person may be a water sign or have water heavy in their chart okay it's almost like they have doing some work on you for some of you guys because I see the eight of Pentacles card here um, or either that they're just watching um, you work they're watching your pockets um, we have the world here and we have the lovers they feel like if they come together with you if they collaborate with you that um, it, like I said abundance by association it'll help them to move on up and to have a brand new start too oh no you better have a brand new start on that karmic wheel <laughs> learn this lesson that you ain't get all righty 
what I said, this person wants to come for your great fortune. Whatever this great fortune is that you've called in, that you have materialized, that you have manifested, this false person, this fake person, this person who has very um, immature uh, ways of thinking, immature feelings, immature ways of approaching situations, that type of deal. Look what they're coming for. The Queen of Pentacles, they're coming for your stability, like I said before with the um, Justice card out here. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. So this might come, they might uh, return during Capricorn uh, season, or this person could have Capricorn heavy in their chart too. Um, like I said, could have water in their chart. This person or third party person that they're um, around, like I said, with third party, because I saw a couple of threes out here. Um, but you have balanced that energy out of your life too. You've cut that energy out of your life. And that would made your life go back more into balance here with Libra and judgment. Libra with justice and judgment. All right. So justice has been served. All right. This person cannot come after your pinnacles. Look at you sitting there poised like, uh, really? I'm too stable for that. OK, I'm creating my wealth. I am fertile. OK, I am healthy. I'm beautiful. That type of deal. Right. You guys could be parents. What do we have here at the bottom of the deck? We have four pinnacles. Hold back your manifestations your stability, whatever it is that you got coming in, you're going to hold it back from them. I feel like you have been holding back your energy from them. You pulled back your energy from this false person a long time ago, or your person pulled back the energy from this false person a long time ago. Um, and they're not going to let them get to the coin. See, she got the coins on there. No, her past is right here. This is where she came from. And she's like, I'm holding on to what I have and I'm never turning back here. All right. Six of swords energy, never turning back to this three party energy. We're not going to do it. I see the five of wands peeking out behind that because it's nothing but conflict, chaos. Who will want to go behind that? OK, death and rebirth. You've changed. You've completely come out of the cycle with this person here with the ten, two of pentacles and the wheel as your energy. All right. You've changed. No, this person is not going to be able to come in with their knight of cups, flighty energy. See how you flighty. Look at that. Feathers on the shoes. Come in like a, a knight in shining armor. I can help you out. I can do this for you. I can do that for you. Come and make an offering instead. Who said I even needed anything from you? This person wants to control something in your life. Um, they don't want to, they don't want you to change. They don't want you to move. They don't want you to go nowhere. But I have a feeling that you guys already know this here with the uh, queen of pentacles and the three of wands here. All right. You guys are just waiting for your fruition to come in and you already know that you're going to have false people on you. You know that you're a beacon of light. You guys understand this. I'm pretty much just reiterating what you guys already know here. All right. So nine of pentacles, page of pentacles and king of pentacles here right behind that. This person definitely sees you as attaining your fruition. All right. And they want in on that stability and they're going to take action towards you here soon. But this is a page, like I said, so this this is very immature action. All right. This is without thinking that type of action. All right. This person watches you. This person probably low key is jealous of you and admires you. This person is focused on you. Okay. This person, like I said, because the page of swords can represent jealousy as well. Um, but you manifested away from this person. Here we go. Look at you and your man out here now. Or, or woman, your divine counterpart, because now we got the King of Wands out here where we had the Queen of Wands. King of Wands over here manifesting too, the main male and the main female, both of y'all manifesting. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. The power. But didn't I say that? Both of y'all was probably doing some magic together. Both of y'all magic. Just talking about it is word witching. You know, that's manifesting, putting it into the air. All right. Putting it into the air, making that action making it accomplishing taking action on something by putting it into the air and then actually doing what you have to do to get there on your end on a 3d end okay the star talks about comes after a tower moment this is healing after a tower moment this is also um someone who is on the right path here all right stepping into that empress energy what we have behind that and then the hangman was behind that you're going to leave this false person stuck hanging behind and that's what they're afraid of that's why they don't want you to change that's why they don't want you to move they're going to be feeling left out okay um they're already unstable look at this they don't want you to go nowhere look at this eight of swords all of this this is your challenge these are your challenge cards this person feeling left out in the cold um you know does nothing but hurt you have you all up in your head um 
here in hermit mode, you know, damn near depressed type of deal. We have the moon here, but things were revealed to you about that. And then we have the 10 of cups. So go ahead and get to your, get to your, uh, dreams coming true. Look at that with this great fortune. I love it for you, earth signs. All right. So if nobody has told you today, I'm going to tell you, I love you. Peace. Don't forget to check that description box. Bye.